the plan is paint the front mudguard, a front fender, paint the tank. Um, I've got some decals that I'm going to be putting on the, the tank, but they're going to be painted on. Uh, so I'll go into that a little bit more later. Uh, paint the kidneys and paint the underside of the seat, the seat mount or the seat pan and uh, the rear fender, rear mudguard as well. So the whole lot are going to be painted, uh, not solely one colour. Um, so I'm going to start ripping the parts off and get it prepped. So why am I repainting it? Well, firstly that was always the plan. Before I even bought the bike, I had uh, an idea in my head. Um, started off with the, the tank, I've now expanded it into a few other pieces. My main reason for that is I'm, I'm not overly a fan of this matte finish. Um, I also don't really like the stuck on badge and also the raised cut lines that you've got here um, from the different layers of paint. Uh, I don't really like that finish, so that's going to disappear. Uh, and there's a little bit of fuel inside this tank, so I'm just going to siphon that out and then we'll start working on getting the, the tank off. A couple of bolts at the back here, uh, I should then be able to lift the tank, disconnect um, the fuel line. Um, and then get the, the tank off from the front, so let's get going. Okay, so that's the tank about as empty as it's going to get. I could tell you that off camera I've got a little squeezy bulb timing pump here for sucking this out, but I would just be lying, so I'll let you figure it out. How did I get the fuel out? Right, I want to remove the tank. Okay, first things first, before you go disconnecting anything electrical, disconnect the battery. Once you've got the bolt out, just pull the negative lead away. See it's inside its rubber boot there, just uh, pull it so it's well away for everything secure. It's insulated with the, the rubber boot there, so that's everything dead on the bike. Um, so now we'll get to disconnecting the uh, electrical connections under the tank. Okay, with each of these bolts removed at the back end here, you can then lift the tank up and it just slides slides back away from its front fitting mount and then that's, that's it free. But obviously, you've got to look underneath because you've got the electrical connection into the fuel tank and the fuel pipe itself. So, I'll just zoom in and show you that. Okay, hopefully you can uh, you can make that out there. You've got the electrical connection get into the bottom of the fuel tank, that'd be the fuel pump uh, and sensor, and then you've got the fuel pipe itself. So I'll just disconnect both of those. And as I mentioned uh, at the start of this, I'm not a painter, but my paint's just arrived. Um, I've never used this company before. As I say, I've got no experience with. Uh, spray painting uh, so I'm going to open the box and uh, let's see if what I've ordered is all there so I've opened the box everything I expected to be in the box is in it um, I've got some uh, Dalcote Klosterman a 2k high build grey primer now I decided to go for uh, the grey because it was recommended as the right primer for the colour of base coat that I'm going for. So it's Dalcoat base coat and it's uh, Jaguar Ultra Blue Metallic. Um, I basically supplied them with the paint code that I wanted them to make up and they've made up these 400ml cans which hopefully are going to be the correct colour. Um, then I've got uh, the 2K um, clear coat. Now, as you'll probably have noticed there, all of these cans look pretty much identical. It's the same base can that they've used. The only difference is the sticker that they put on to tell uh, to tell the customer what the contents are. So, um, hopefully they've put the right lids on the right cans and hopefully it's the right stuff that's inside them. Now, with the the, this 2k clear coat I'm a little bit surprised um, 
by the looks of the can. All the research I've done on Google, um, on on paints, like I said, I'm not a painter, so I've, I've basically been on Google, I've been looking up what's the best stuff to use, and for clear coat, uh, it would appear that a two component, a 2K clear coat, uh, is the best to use because it is hard and durable. Um, the cans that I've seen online, uh, or photographs that I've seen, the can would come with something that you would depress, uh, some way of activating the two components within the can, uh, and then you, you mix them together, and that's supposed to do the same thing as mixing the two separate components together before you would use it in like a, a, a spray gun, you know, a compressor, an air compressor uh, spray gun. Um, this says it's 2K, cool, okay. I'll uh, follow the instructions on the back of it. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll see how it goes. Okay, battery died on the camera, so it's been on charge for the last hour and I've jumped ahead a few steps. As you can see, I've taken the Triumph badge off uh, the side of the tank here. That's literally just, uh, see the bits lying here? It's literally just a sticker stuck on. Um, and what I did think was uh, cut lines from the paint also is actually just vinyl um, stickers. So quite easy to peel them off, easy to get the badge off. Not so easy to get the glue residue off that was left behind. Um, you can see the, the finish on the tank here at the moment. I've sanded the tank with uh, 240 grit. Um, the glue doesn't sand so easy. So I tried a bit of solvent um, to make sure I'm getting that off of that and, uh, and sanding it. So it's all smooth now, tanks, sanded and prepped, uh, ready for primer. So it's the following day, um, I managed to get about three coats a primer on last night. Uh, finish is not too bad. Um, first can that I opened up, uh, there was a few drips came out of it whilst I was spraying. It turned out that um, when I looked, took the nozzle off and looked under, the nozzle was cracked on the underneath of it. So, tip for the future: always check that the nozzles are intact before I start. Uh, overall, finish pretty good. A little bit of a rough finish. I'm just going over it with some 400 grit. Uh, to smooth everything out and then I'll see what the general coverage is afterwards. So I've finished rubbing this down with the 400 and I'm actually quite impressed with the, the finish. Um, there's not really any, any inclusions in it, any dust or anything like that. I had one little run that I had to rub out. Uh, but quite impressed overall. All I've done now is um, I've got a, a clean off with a, a normal cloth, and now I'm using a, a, a tack cloth. And if you don't know what a tack cloth is, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's a, a cloth that's sticky, it's tacky. Uh, the idea being that you give everything a rub, get all the dust and any any particles that's on the surface off, uh, ready for the next coat. Now the the one problem I did have um, yesterday when I was trying to spray was that. Everything was sitting too low um, on the surface of the table I'm using, so I found it quite hard to try and uh, get low on the on the parts that I'm painting. So today I'm going to do things uh, a little bit differently. So I've strung the uh, the tank and the kidney pieces up. Um, a bit of timber that I've got overhanging. And I've just gone through one can of the um, black base coat. Finish, finish is alright from the first uh, first can. As you can see, obviously I've decided to continue spraying outside for now because uh, the primer went quite well. Um, spraying with the, the rattle cans, they just spit a little bit at times, which leaves um, some little sort of heavier marks. Probably can't can't really see them on the camera. But uh, I'm going to have to sand that out anyway at the end, but um, overall quite uh, quite happy with how this turned out so far. So I'm going to put another can down and then uh, leave these to cure. So I've got about three layers of uh, black 
base coat uh, down on the tank and these kidney pieces now. Um, and I've just given this a rub over with uh, some wet and dry again, but the, the, the finish actually straight out the can. I'm actually really surprised, it's it's pretty good. Um, so now I'm just going to put, I've got some decals that I'm going to uh, put onto these um, before I then put my next colour on top so that the black will be what's left behind. So um, I haven't really done much of this before. The, uh, the instructions are use a plastic uh, squeegee. So I'm just going to use my driver's licence because I don't have a plastic squeegee. Um, and these are essentially just stickers. I don't know if you've used them before, but I'll uh, I'll get this stuck on here, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. There we have it. Not the most uh, difficult job in the world. A, a few little air bubbles. Um, I'm just trying to squeeze these out so that the edge is flat so I don't get any bleed um, from the next layer of paint uh, through the sides of it and hopefully these will peel off without peeling any of the black paint off uh, when I take them out. So there you have it, first, uh, first coats uh, of blue base coat sprayed onto the kidney pieces. Um, I've got about three coats on there and it looks like I've got full coverage. I don't see any of the black bleeding through. Um, this is Jaguar Ultra Blue. And as cheesy as it might be, the reason I picked this colour is because it's the same colour as my car. Uh, and I really like the colour, hence why I bought the car in the first place. Um, and I think they'll look pretty cool side by side with each other. So what I'm going to do now is uh, try and remove these uh, skull decals that I put on earlier. Um, hopefully it's not going to pick away any of the blue paint as well and then it'll be ready for a clear coat. There we have it, some people like it, some people won't but I, uh, I think that looks pretty wicked. So we're two days later and I'm uh, laying colour down onto the tank. Now, the reason it's two days later is I was waiting on some other decals arriving in the post which only arrived this morning. Um, I, I did, deliberately didn't video me putting them on because uh, that would give the game away what the final looks going to be but as you can see and you might even be able to see some of the decals in there but uh, colour's going on quite nice. That's three coats already. I'm going to bang on another two and then let it dry and then pull the decals off. So it's the next day again, uh, we're about, about maybe a week into this, five days to a week into this now. Um, and I've finished doing the colour, the decals, and I've clear coated the tank with three three coats, a clear coat. Now I don't know about you guys uh, watching this, but I think this looks pretty sick. I may get focus on this but where the clear coat and the layer I just went over the different layers of uh, black and blue um, base coat you've got this this edge uh, which resembles that that you would get if you still had a sticker on it so what I'm going to do now is uh, sand it down with some 1200 grit wet and dry and I'm going to do it wet to take all these edges away um, you may be able to see there's a little bit of uh, orange peel in the tank as well so I'm going to get that out and then we'll re clear coat it again. So there it is, all back together. That's the final finish. Um, I have to say, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. So 
for a couple of weeks on and I thought I was done with this. Uh, I thought I was finished with the bike. Bike was looking fantastic. Um, I've been to a couple of ride outs, uh, a couple of sort of bike meets and I've had some brilliant feedback uh, on the design that I've used the, and the finish. Um, quite a lot of people, you know, assumed that it had been done uh, in a paint shop um, because the, the, the finish is, you know, it's, it's very good considering they used rattle cans. Um, however, uh, I must have got lucky the first time, but the second time I went to the petrol pump or the gas station, as it's called in the US, I dribbled a little bit of fuel when taking the nozzle out of the tank. And immediately I saw that the fuel or the petrol melted the clear coat. Now this came as a bit of a surprise to me because um, I had used a 2K clear coat that was supposed to be chemical resistant and durable, wear resistant, etc, etc. Uh, so when I got home, I went online to the Advanced, Advanced Paints website. I looked up the product that I had bought and yep, it says on there it's 2K, great. So I contacted Advanced Paints and I asked them um, what the story was, you know, I told them what had happened and they wrote back to me saying that uh, they have changed the formula of their 2K clear coat, this dial coat, Klosterman 2K clear coat, so that it doesn't need to be in a can that needs to be activated. So the formula that's in there is supposed to be that the two components are already mixed and you shake the can up um, and that's it. And uh, if you ever look back uh, earlier in the video, you'll see I did talk a little bit about the um, the 2K clear coat when I got it. So, yep, maybe I should have done a bit more research. Maybe I should have realised uh, when the can arrived and there was no way of activating it, um, that there was different variations of what they're called 2K. However, um, this type of can and this, you know, special formula that they're supposedly using uh is listed as two component it has the can properties where or uh, you don't need to uh, activate um as you would with a 1k paint it has uh no chemical resistance it's not as hard wear and it's not as durable um so it basically has the properties of a 1k paint so as far as i'm concerned it's a 1k paint trying to identify itself as a 2k paint um, so be aware if you're going to try this yourself, find uh, find a proper two component that the two parts need to be combined together to um, to react and create the correct two K paint. Uh, so what did I do? I went back onto Google, uh, had a hunt around looking for um, an alternative that was truly two K, not just a 1k pretending to be, um, had to be chemical resistant, hardware and durable etc etc again. So what I came to find was this stuff and this is uh, Spray Max 2k uh, and I think this is, I think it's German um, from spraymax.com. Uh, I got this, I think I got this on Amazon actually. Um, and as you can see here, this looks a little bit different. So it's got a clear lid. It's got this little uh, plastic piece on the top of the lid here that you take off. You see the bottom of the can here. Looks like the bottom of a gas canister. Uh, it's got this little uh, needle valve. Um, you put the plastic piece on here, depress it. That then releases the um, components inside to mix together. You then give it a shake. They mix up, activate and then you have a 2K paint. Now, the one thing that you have to be aware of is once you've activated these two components together and they're mixed, the, the paint's reacted, it's gonna start curing. Uh, and it says on the back here that at 20 degrees, it must be used within 48 hours. After that period, it'll become unusable. And obviously the temperature that you're using it at is gonna affect that. Um, so 
I had to take the tank off and the other bits and pieces, I had to sand them back down again uh, and then I had to re-clear coat uh, all the components that I'd originally painted. Now I wanted to get the bike back together because I had several uh, bike meets and, and ride outs to attend to. Um, so the finish isn't as good as it was with the original stuff, but then the original stuff wasn't suitable. Um, there's a little bit of orange peel on it. It's the clear coat's not as uh, highly built as I would like it to be. Um, so over the the winter, that's basically the bikes in the garage now for the winter. Uh, I'm going to strip it back off again, and we'll get some more coats of clear on it. But the I mean the finish is pretty good. Again, again, it's um, it's rattle cans, so you know it's not going to be as flawless as you'd get from a body shop but once I get the new clear coat uh, or the additional coats of clear coat on it I'll then be polishing it and that and, and get it um, get it looking all good for next year uh, so a um, little bit of a long winded edit here but hope it's been of some use if you like what you're watching maybe subscribe check out my other videos um, if you don't thanks for watching anyway and I'll see you all next time cheers